You're watching Drake Queen Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys and gals, Never here for Drake Wing Gaming. It's Sunny Mal on Twitter, the Gaming Drag. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Glory Hounds. So y'all, let's go ahead and jump right back into it, shall we? Alarm chain, you are up, and let's go. We're at the <laughs> Bondage Fashion Show. Okay. We push our way through the crowd for what feels like an eternity. The more efficient we try to be, the more the universe seems to want to throw a wrench in our plans. We're no closer to the center of the crowd when a loud squeal stops us in our tracks. It's an Okapi. Wearing an artistic interpretation of what amounts to precious little more than a thong and a leash. Ooh, who are you wearing? They've got a heavy accent, but I can't quite place the country. Uh, who? Uh, they're asking who designed your outfit. Oh, I did. Darling, simply darling, you must make me a piece sometime, I insist. Can you give me a twirl? Ro awkwardly spins in place while the Okapi sips a glass of champagne. Exquisite, mon ami, and I take it you'll be walking the catwalk later. Oh, we're just guests. Listen, we really gotta move on. Uh, places to be. Of course, darling, but just in case you do end up with some time on your hands tonight, I'll be in the VIP section up front. VIP section? Where else? It's where the brightest stars gather. The cream of the crop, if you will. They pass Ro a business card. With how little they're wearing, I don't want to know where they pulled it from and disappear into the crowd. A few similar interactions later, and I'm starting to get frustrated despite the frequent compliments. This isn't getting us anywhere. There's too many people. And our target's stealthy enough as it is. Is Milo here yet? We could use some backup. I've been wondering that myself. He should have contacted us by now. He taps his earpiece. Raven 3, do you copy? Over. A few seconds pass before the lion crackles and Milo's voice comes in. I copy loud and clear. Has the eagle landed yet? Over. I do not understand. Is Kazoo here yet? Ah, Camo. Uh, him, yeah. As a matter of fact, yes, I have served him drinks. You served him drinks? Getting close to target requires subtle touch not everyone possesses. And I am only among three of us he does not recognize. How'd you even get close to him? Matter was simple. Infiltrated VIP section as waiter. So he's with the, uh... How did that gentle person put it? Cream of the crop? Did you manage to pick up any new info, Raven 3? Over. He is carrying Lord's mysterious bag on his person. I was not able to discern if it contained money talk scout. However, I did manage to place small tracking device on it. Tracking radius is small, but if it moves, we will know. Can you meet up with us so we can formulate a strategy? Over. I'm on my way. Excellent work, Raven 3. Over and out. Well, we know Camo is here and he's got a bag. That's a start. It should make retrieving the gown just a tad easier on us. Barely. That doesn't really tell us where we go from here, though. It's telling us he's carrying or planning to carry something important at the very least. And how many people have you seen carrying large bags? More than a few. You don't think he's already stolen what, what he came here for, do you? I highly doubt that. Oh my god, what are you wearing? Oh my god. Ah! What did Milo sneak up on us? Whoa. Um. Ah, glad you found us. Are we not just gonna mention Milo's outfit? That certainly doesn't leave a lot to the imagination. But I'm still imagining plenty of things. You look puzzled, Dusthound. Uh, oh, uh, just a little surprised is all. Surprised? Yeah, let's, uh, let's call it that. I am master of stealth and subterfuge. I can, uh, I can see that. Although I am, how you say, odd duck and bunch, most other staff is butterflies. What's the situation? Camo was still on premises, moving about slowly. I do not believe he found what he is here for yet. He has been conversing with guests and designers, making small talk. No doubt trying to build rapport with people and trying to find out exactly who's carrying what. Precisely. The VIP section is for people presenting at show as well as distinguished guests. It is also near backstage area, where important costumes are kept under close watch by security. He's not likely to steal anything from that place directly. I agree, it would be too risky. So what should his plan be? There's too many people even for a master thief like him. I wouldn't be so sure. If he's trying to make friends here, I can think of a few ways he might go about it. Think back to what Lou said. 
about him likely being after rare and expensive materials or outfits? Yes, what better place to learn who has what than during the fashion show? He can observe his targets and plan to take what he needs accordingly. I overheard him talking earlier. I would not be surprised if he plans to follow targets into dressing rooms for ambush. So he's been buttering people up only to take their life's work? Man, what a nasty little sneak. We won't let it get to that. He will have to move very carefully to pull off his plan thievery. And the time and the time a criminal is most vulnerable is when he's laser focused on his target. I'd even get in there. I don't see him getting an invitation, and VIP ticket VIP tickets don't exactly come cheap. He most likely snuck in. No, he was in possession of ticket. Maybe it was forged? Not possible. Security checks thoroughly at entrance. But then how are we gonna get in? I doubt we can fit in as waiters like Milo did. I can think of something. You're not gonna smash a window again, are you? No. We pretend we're there to participate. Models don't need tickets, right? Do you honestly think that'll work? If they keep such a close eye on tickets, they've probably already vetted the models, too. We only need to get close enough to camo to give chase. I trust you will think of something. I will go on ahead. Thank you. Water time. Hmm. Much as I try to argue against it, two minutes later we're standing at the gate to the VIP section. It's definitely a lot less crowded past this point. I can see why. I think but fancy suits and champagne allowed over here. A butterfly, even more imposing than the waiter, the, the waiter from before, thoroughly inspects everyone going in and out. You're gonna have to be sneaky. Very sneaky. Oh my, what an outfit. Jesus. And who might you be, good sirs? Um, we're... I throw a look. We're scheduled to walk the runway in a little while. How odd. You're certainly dressed the part, but I wasn't informed about someone of your... He looks Raul up and down. Caliber participating. You would be surprised. Hmm, yes, so it would seem. Listen, I'd love to stay in chat, but the boss will have our heads if we don't show up for hair and makeup. All right, all right, fine. I just need your name, so I'll go and confirm whether you're allowed in. Okay, think fast. Just hope Raul catches on. Uh, Raymond, he doesn't know we are here. What? Oh! Hmm, yes, my dear Alexander, so it would seem. Never in my life have I been treated so rudely and unfairly. Why, I have to have a mind to leave up and leave right now. We were told this would be a professional event. Where's the, um, the... Professionalism? Nowhere to be found, my dear Raymond. Uh... My dearest sir, you are talking to the twin stars of Batavia. Have a bit of decorum. Descended from royalty. Psst. Aren't the royals hairs? Foreign royalty. We have graciously decided to take the stage and elevate this event, and you dare repay our kindness with such cruelty? Despicable. Your employer will rue the day, good sir. We were personally sent by Katharina Ambrosia... Connick... Connick Sir DeVos, and believe you me, she has the resources to end your sorry career. But Max's mom won't learn about me invoking her name like that. I'd have a major problem on my hands. Raymond, we are leaving. Fine, you may enter. Just don't let me catch you harassing any of our esteemed guests. Thank you verily, I say. I strut into the VIP area with all the bravado I can muster, Raul following closely behind. We're very close to the catwalk now. No sign of camo, cameo, just cameo, cameo just yet. Though I do spot some folks who obviously have more money to spend than I do, to put it lightly. This must be the big fashion designers in their entourages. Uh, Lou would be able to pick these guys out of a crowd, but they all look the same to me. I have to say, I don't feel right about lying. You were the one who said we should pretend to be a part of the show. I know, doesn't mean I can't feel bad about it afterwards. I doubt your charm and good looks alone would have gotten us in. Though we certainly did get our fair share of compliments from some of the guests. Still, the hero should uphold the virtues of truth and justice. I agree with Duskhound. Ah! My heart nearly jumps out of my chest as I turn around to face Milo. And how does he always catch me by surprise? Second, y'all. Alright, we're back, y'all. Alright. I haven't witnessed this kind of stealth since my childhood days of slinking into the kitchen to pilfer snacks at night. Why do you uh, why do you guys always sneak up on me? Crow doesn't even acknowledge my outburst. White lies are sometimes necessary to uphold cover, correct? If you put it that way. It's for a good cause, Don Hound. Milo, when's the show starting? He checks his wrist. When he remembers he's not wearing a watch or any clothes at all, in fact, he sighs. I do not know exact time. It should be any minute now, though. I'm willing to bet I'm willing to bet he'll try to use it as a distraction to enact his scheme. 
We should be ready. We should be at the ready. The last couple words that leave his mouth are drowned out by music blurring over the speakers next to the stage. Ladies, gentlemen, everyone outside the binary and in between. Are you ready? The crowd roars. Welcome, one and all, to the Bonds Through Bondage event, where... Roll checks his tracker. I take a peek over his shoulder. He's very close. Unfortunately, the crowd's gotten a bit thicker, and with all manner of folks, including the Akapi from earlier, gathering near the catwalk. Almost all of them are carrying large, weird bags. I don't know how I'm going to find Kaboom. Come on, come on, showtime! I'm grabbed from behind when I turn my head. I see it's the butterfly from earlier, the one at the gate. Wait, but I... You're a model, right? Come on, the show's about to start. The paint and purple collection's up first. He pushes me up to the edge of the catwalk through the crowd. The models have already started walking, and I see the butterfly count down before he gives me a prod and urges me to climb up. Left with no other option, and no help from Oul or Milo, I do. Nice. I feel my cheeks and body burn under all these spotlights. Hundreds, if not thousands, of eyes drilling into me. Just as many cameras pointing right at me. I look around the crowd in the VIP section. I spot Raul and Milo immediately. Give him hell, Spot! Easy for you to say. You're not the one having to do this. Uh-oh. I notice one person standing at the very edge of the VIP crowd. He blends in with the environment, and when he spots me, he seems to almost dive out of my line of sight. I stop in my tracks. There's no doubt about it. It's Ka... Ka... Cha... Kablooey. The model behind me, a tall, handsome rabbit, walks right into me. A nearby Martin and Fish stop in their tracks as well. What are you doing, kid? Come on, keep walking. That's him! I point at the chameleon. My old, Milo and Raul notice too. Clear the way! That man's a thief! So that I said, ain't I ain't mucking it around, monkeying around? Ha! Oh man, I'd have loved to have seen the look on his face after. It was priceless. Hmm. What you what you watching over there, Willem? There's this fashion show going on at the new convention center. Thought I'd tune in. Ladies, gentlemen, everyone outside the binary and in between, are you ready? I didn't manage to do that again without my voice cracking. Ooh, it looks like we're just in time for the show to start. Is this one of them drag shows I heard you talking about? Um, well, not quite. <clears throat> ah, trying to do Southern. Southern! God. I am Southern! How hard is that to do? Mm, excuse me. And not quite. Er, not quite. I don't know who. I don't know what's the best way to put it, Lou. Think of it as a costume show themed more towards... Well, you'll see. Looks like the models are lining up on the stage. Oh. The show's all about lots of different kinds of, um, bondage gear. I never imagined you could wear harnesses like that. They certainly ain't wearing much else underneath. Ha! Huh, not unlike half the people in here tonight. Yeah, if you think it's... A, I think about it, it's really just... Hold the phone. That guy with the spots looks familiar. Oi! Is that Al up there? Oh no. Alright y'all, I'm gonna pause it right there. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, get uh, like, comment, subscribe, and uh I'll see y'all later. I gotta I gotta head out and get ready for work. Anyway, love you all and see y'all in the next video. Bye bye!